You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Bastila, I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I have heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. No, I suppose you did not. I apologize. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. They're waiting for you inside. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vruk, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Indeed, I am sure that you do. I assure you that we will have answers for you. Darth Malak seeks to destroy the Jedi Order. Our most effective weapon, perhaps our only hope, is Bastila's skill with battle meditation. With this power, she can swing the tide of nearly any battle in our favor. Which is why Malak was seeking her so fervently. And if he could not have her, he would see her destroyed. Terrace was just in the way. We need Bastila in our fight against the Sith. Indeed, we need every Jedi we can muster. Since the Sith have been hunting us down at every opportunity. Which brings us to you. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Do not worry. I am confident in your ability to learn. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Such pride, such arrogance. <laughs> this one is already on the path to the dark side. As are many who are not given proper training, Master Vrook. Only through our guidance can we hope to lead those who have strayed back to the path of the light. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one, and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. 